Hey right, guys, so welcome to all fun back here today. Got a really, really, really quick Dragon Ball Z uh, really quick Dragon Ball video. I want to do the really quick, of course. But yeah, there's some news for Global right now. Of course, they hit number one again. For some odd reason. I know, I'm joking. But yeah, we did hit number one again, and to make sure, to make sure, I actually did do a video for it. Um, it's right here. Yeah, so I was going back. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I already did a video for this. Then I realized, I was like, oh, yeah, I did. It's right here. Because we're going to hit number one the first time. So definitely just hit him in the second time. I hit number one for, number one for actually the um, LR Gohan banner. Which I actually meant to pull up. Dang it. Because the time going, by the time this goes over, it'll probably be gone already. Um, and then the new LR Super Saiyan 2 movie Gohan from the Bojack movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are about that banner. Um, that was pretty much, honestly. I'm trying to think. The better actually was really good because a lot of people were something like, hey, they hit Top Gross and like today for JP. It did hit Global as well, but we didn't have like whole, the whole notification didn't show up, but we still got seven stones for that banner, so it still did count. A lot of people were so mad about that, but I mean, it happens though, guys. It, it always happens. Um, yeah, so Global did get seven stones and stuff like that, of course. Um, I don't really want to say what the actual Kyle Kim Blue Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta banner specifically. That's what I'm thinking of. I don't think it was specifically with that banner because, um, this one right here, because I feel like I stopped someone on the banner because no one's. Uh, it hit number one the first time, which I kind of get because I know a lot of people really want these guys. The banner did suck though, honestly. I mean, let's scroll down here. Let's zoom let's, let's, let's on the banner. I actually to scroll down a little bit beforehand. Um, yeah. So, because technically it's the second time it technically hit number one, which is the first time I ever want to pronounce it. Because again, the video right there, you guys saw it right there. It's all the proof. It's all the proof. Yeah. Of course, um, like I said, the overall banner, again, I said this so many times about this banner, skip it, it's horrible. At this point, to play for the Freezer banner, which I will show up really quick, um, for mobile. I never go for JP and stuff like that. Um, again, Kanku Mubu Goku is really good, Beerus is good, and and, and, and uh, Gohan Goku is good. But then the rest of the units is like, uh, yeah, the rest of the units are just kind of bad. Vegeta's still good, Goku's good, Evolution Blue Vegeta's good, but we're not every banner. Um, again, they've been on every banner at this point, so hopefully, you know, for, you know, rumor, you know, UI Goku, you know, Evolution Blue Vegeta LR for the you know, new anniversary for JP. It's been the big rumor rolling around. I didn't do a video for it for, like, figure and stuff like that. I did. I, I, I don't know. I just scrambled up in my head. Um, but yeah. Um, of course, Jiren's okay. Jiren's, actually, no, he's actually really good with LR Jiren coming up probably for New Year's, I'm say. Could be, because, um, did we get LR sales campaign last year? That might have been for, that might have been for JP. Um, my hair can go on camera. It is. Sometimes, some days it'd be like, oh, I just back on some other videos. My hair, all looking good, boys. I won't looking good. I mean, I know, I, I didn't know how I already do properly back in this day. Um, Yoda is still good. Freeze is still good. Um, the pretty okay. Freeze is actually really good because they can Freeza, but the problem with Freeza, he lowers your ally defense, especially if it's like a hero unit on Resurrected Warriors that kind of hurts them because it's like okay, they lower their attack and defense. Yoda is pretty okay now. Yeah, he has aged a little bit. I have seen it now. He has no type of defensive power, but he still hits hard. Like he do, he still really hits hard, but that's all he has for him, unfortunately. So yeah, this banner's again. It's overall. I would go on a good team. They're gonna be back on a good GS banner anyway, though. So yeah. Um, I think this is the Freeza banner right here. This is a Christmas pack that um. Okay, I'm sorry, I got distracted right there. So yeah, the Christmas pack for Global, of course, you know, everybody's been buying that. It has candy canes, Kai's, uh, actually, it kind of does the banner for the um, Christmas banner. Um, yeah, there's all the packs and stuff like that happened the last couple of weeks and stuff like that. I think it's the last pack that happened. Again, I, I don't really use, <laughs> I never check the Pilot Stroke pack. I never do for, for these videos, I kind of forget. So yeah, of course, it's a special ticket Christmas banner, which actually can summon on and use for this Christmas banner right here. So yeah, if you purchase the Pilot Stroke pack, you can actually use it, um, okay, just, Okay, I really get distracted. Some of going on right now, of course. But yeah, you can use it for this banner right here, which actually really is really good, though. Of course, like I said, for Christmas, there was literally on Christmas Day for Global. And this is the, um, you know, you gotta know, this is a Christmas banner officially for Global. It originally was the 10 bottom banner, but they didn't move it last year. Because we was like, oh, you're worth the Gohan and Gohan banner, of course, yeah. I don't feel like specifically Global hit number one for the, the original banner. I feel like they hit number one for this one. You know, if another new player coming into that fray, I feel like the Argus from this banner, because the banner actually is really good. For high value, this banner is really amazing. Um, because you have, um, Cell, he's good. 017's probably one of the best easy as in the right now. And Kid Boo's probably like one of very easy out of the group. Um, again, this is just a lot of it. You know, Trunks and Masu, um, Goku Black, um, I said Charles, Goku Black and, um, Blue Vegito. Um, they're gonna be every banner moving forward. They're gonna be Inko Gia's banner, who cares? You might come back for the five anniversary, six year anniversary. It could be possible because you, I mean, you are Goku and Evolution Book Vegeta. It's highly possible because again, these two are never tied to one banner because they came out, you know, without like a you know, specific unit, like for example, whereas in Vegeta Blue, they always tied to a banner for each other. For Goku, for Vegeta, always had that banner with each other. Blue Fusions always have the banner with each other. Trunks and Zamasu always have the banner with each other. So they're always, the dual, dual Doki Fest usually come back. I think these two aren't really tied to a banner specifically. 
they've been back, you know, without each other sometimes, but again, it's not. Yeah, because these two, again, Doe Dog is fast, Doe Dog is fast, Doe Dog is fast. So they're basically tied to every banner. Um, LR three, um, three year units, they're tied to the banner. So that's why these guys come back every other banner. So yeah, and Global, you can't purchase it. Too. Actually, that actually is really worth it, but like, if you just want to spend a few bucks on this one, I think. It's this one back. This is about right. It's been so yeah, you can purchase like any of these packs. I think you had to purchase this one first, then this one, then this one. So yeah, I'm um, actually all really good overall. How many did that? Four, seven, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that's twenty-one. That's about I think two months right there. Um for this banner, it's worth it. It actually is pretty worth it. But if you're like a new older player, like for me, for example, I'm playing since like forever ago, since like Tectros came out essentially. So I'm gonna play for a really long time, boys. Now that boomer for token, you can say that. Yeah. Like I said though, um I, like for me I have like um all these units basically. I don't have Gohan to go send because again I was from like, every single banner. I have blue fusions, I again I just wait for them to come back, whatever. So yeah. If like an older player for me, for example, I like to save up like good value banners like this banner, the five university banner we got to save up for. I'm guessing I'm off for that banner for a video and stuff like that. The um New Year's banner that got pop up for global probably a couple more days. Um, again, that should be a thing right there. So yeah, again, like I said, yeah. I uh, forgot another good high value banner right here. For example, if you're a new player, you could summon on this banner because it has new Frieza. He's amazing. Beerus is so good. I think I saw him out because he just came out for global. They probably would, but I feel like they're not going to change the banner. They didn't do it. This is definitely with the cooler banner of last year. This was a cooler banner last year. So for global, it could be like mid March. This is where that time slot is probably going to be. Because Metal Global was December for global, I think. I think it was. Now, um, Trifling with Frieza, we haven't seen him in a while, so he's really good. Integral Frieza just came back, so yeah. And then we go, who again, they're all good. This is a good high value for a new unit, because Cooler's amazing. Kaken Blue Goku's good. And plus, now with the new JP update, where you can see, like, Doka Fest, it'll tell you, like, what units are the Doka Fest. Like, similar, like, when you turn to LR, like, oh yeah, LR. I'm just kind of similar to that, where it tells you, like, Doka Fest unit, because a lot of new players are jumping more into the game, more into the fray. So it's kind of like, okay, let's just, um, let's just, um, Put Doka Fest on there. It's a lot easier so people will know what the like unit they'll do. You know, we had like a friend just playing it and stuff like that. Uh, cause, uh, I I give Doka Fest 24 7. This is LR Jira banner, that's what I was talking about. There's really good high value here, but I'd say don't summon like for legendary coin banners because they're just yellow coins and get LRs with them. But when you summon overall in the banner, you're gonna have a bad experience because there's nothing on here at all. A lot of people with me was like, yeah, when's LR Jira coming to Global? When's LR Jira coming to Global? Probably like Kylie in January or whatever. So before New Year's, I highly think it is. Um, just a toilet banner, don't summon these yellow coins. Are, yeah, this banner's not good. Um, to be for Gorgia Banner has some pretty good high value here. He got just came back, so it's just I'm sick of seeing him already. He's like, oh yeah, I'm excited to pull him, but it's like even like you no know, Laura, like another Dark YouTuber. It's like he's like, okay, he's, yeah, wow, hooray, but yeah, they're back. There's no one's gonna be surprised. They're back on every banner now. Um, this has okay value. That's pretty okay because they're always gonna have this guy. If you're old, I have him already. Have him already. Have him. Um, he's the only user probably missing on the banner. I don't really need something like that. I can wait for Piccolo to come back. Again, I have these guys are going to be on the New Year's banner anyway, though, so good couple hidden gems here on there. I feel like I do the break code, have a high trick. But this is actually is really solid, though. It's actually really good. I just saw some videos for him just to catch up, kind of. Um, good kind of, not behind, though, but just been a little busy lately, so it's like, okay, let me kind of catch up to see these guys. So yeah, Zangi is good, or Zangi is good. Bojack's good. Um, you know, worse, like, worse, cooler. Gohan's amazing. Some of the probably best TRs in the game. Bark's good, um, Andrew 13 is good, Andrew Gon's good, this one's okay, he, like with him he's actually a little bit better, so the banner's pretty much okay with this value, but again, the banners like this, for example, the Duke Doka Fest banners, we want to save these, because these have really good high value at the end of the day, this is the new Pycon, of course, Gina, the banner, this one's pretty okay, this one actually one's really good, because Dragon Ball Super Gogeta, no, Dragon Ball Super Gogeta, Broly, and like just, uh, the whole overall banner is actually really good, Blue Fusions are still both really good, that's a like normal book, they're fun to play with, um, out of context right there, so yeah. Um, again, the best, this one's pretty okay. Gem is pretty okay, but for me, for example, I've been playing for a really long time. I don't, only, the only news I'm missing on here, of course, the new gym, but I don't really count the new one because you know, no, they're not everybody's gonna have them first day. But these two I'm missing, um, and that's pretty much it. And same thing goes for you. I'm only missing you and you, so yeah, I'm pretty much missing two for two because they do dog and better than the you don't really have that much. It's they're pretty okay. Last year ones were bad. Um, the year before ones were okay. Again, it's been then we have like a new hour. You know, New Year's hour before the New Year's actually even happen. Like a do dog fight there. So those really that's all I really kind of want to go build today. Again, that's probably what um the Cobra hit for. Not probably not this banner. Probably um this one right here. So yeah, pretty much gonna end it there though. Like I said, um for JP, I don't really recommend something for these because the anniversary is probably right around the corner. So those banners will have the anniversary banners are always good. They'll probably have some of the best units in the game. Probably be at LRG, LR Blue Vegito, LRG, and you know this New Year's. You know we all that. Oh yeah, they're gonna be okay because you know I think it was year four the units were okay they're pretty much okay with each other ish but it's also like okay um yeah they're pretty okay 
Yeah, they're pretty okay. Then on top of that, it's like, okay, you, you, got, you already know you can have the new best news in the game. The PyCon and Jennifer are really good. They're pretty okay. Jennifer is good. PyCon is pretty okay, though. That's all I realize gets. Yeah. We have mainly videos for them. Gonna go into here. So, yeah, I feel, I feel like it goes basically for this banner, probably. So, yeah. But again, the banner's really good. I I expected to hit probably number one. Run right? another banner because I already hit number one. Probably that one, maybe just tens or whatever. So, yeah. Um, that banner makes a lot more sense, you know, if new players going to summon on that, you know, buy. Because in order to really, order to really even hit top grossing, you had to have, um, you had to have, like, I think you had to buy stones when the banner is up. For example, we'll go reason go hit number one, hit number one in JP. Probably because JP has one country again. That's how it's been structured. JP has one country, and well, Global has, like, Lucky Bird and, like, China and stuff like that. Um, you know, typical so like Global has multiple countries, JP just has one, you know, around the world. You know, France and stuff like that. France community is really big, so this, we have a whole bunch of damn like Kawhi, I see where it's like, think of those guys, those cats out in the world. Um, but yeah, like I said though, um, the reason how they really achieved top grossing is basically everybody had to buy a lot of stones. So for example, Gia didn't hit top grossing. A lot of people might have bought it for him, but he didn't, maybe he didn't know. But he didn't, hit, he didn't hit his mark essentially for the banner specifically. Though. He didn't hit like he didn't actually hit his mark for the banner. So yeah, that's how it's structured for that. So yeah, gonna go to end the video here. Like I said, again, that's how top grossing kind of works. You know, for global every country we hit, get another set of stones. Hit one, hit two, hit three, hit four. Boom! So many stones we get. Hit one, so we got seven miles stones. I'll probably update again, but okay, we got fourteen more stones. We got like what 18 more stones 28 and so on and so forth that's how it works uh, for example like in jp again if you bought like a whole bunch of stones even global whether i buy a whole bunch of stones it would be like okay um, here you go but yeah they have to process that like you know for jp is really easy they can hit it like a day or a night for global it does take like maybe a day or two or whatever so, yeah. um gonna go in here like i said i'll see you guys, see you guys later though thanks for watching have a great day great oh good joke you know stay safe watch your hands god bless all of you what guys sake, of course pretty cool simple stuff so yeah got some more stuff i want to do today just you know <laughs> other stuff i mean relaxing <laughs> you're not gonna have a life or anything you know youtubers, YouTubers never have lives <laughs> okay we'll see you see you guys later though again though peace out